Yes. I mean, that's one way to see mom, right? Yeah. Carla Gugino, good morning. <laughs> good morning. But you know, that you play the super cool spy mom, I mean, whose who's, uh, makeup mirror turns into a computer that connects her to right. her boss spy headquarters. And, and, you, and the first movie was such a success. What made you want to play Ingrid a second time? Well, I think in this case, Robert Rodriguez is sort of the man behind all of this. And he's really an incredible guy. Uh, and the first one was so much fun. And it was, uh, and just seemed sort of like a very natural progression to go and do the second one with the same group that I love. And, and the first time when I watched the first one, actually, I thought also, this is something that seems to be, when I watched it, I thought, how unusual to be able to go and watch a movie with your kids or your friends' kids or whatever and really enjoy it as an adult as well. So, so for me, it seems sort of like its own brand of film, sort of taking the genre in a new direction. So. And, and playing Antonio Banderas' wife probably it's, didn't hurt No, him. it's it's pretty good deal. <laughs> what does it like to work with him? He's amazing. We, we work together. Oh. There you are. There we are. <laughs> Look at us. He's a, he's a, um, a very smart actor. He is a very smart actor. He's a very generous actor. Um, we worked together for the first time on a movie called Miami Rhapsody in Miami about seven years ago. So we knew each other. But when we got to do this together, we sort of, it was really fun because in that film we didn't have that much to do uh, with each other. Our storylines were separate, and in this, we got to really create these characters who sort of, we could push the limits of reality and make them sort of your dream parents. Mm -hmm. um, dream parents, however, who have got kids who really are full of themselves. Because in, in, yes. Really? Because in Spy Kids 1, basically, they, they, you know, basically figure out that you guys, you parents, are spies. Right. This time, they want bigger and better assignments themselves. Oh, yeah. They, right? So, yeah. This time, so we're kind of handing the reins over to them, you know. I mean, they, they've become official Spy Kids. They have a title. You know, there are certain circumstances where you might need kids to be undercover they're more easily undercover than adults so they use our kids for that and uh, and they're in competition with some other kids this time whereas we're sort of dealing with the family dynamics of my parents coming into town <laughs> and not getting along with Antonio's character Gregorio at all because they actually don't like your no. choice of, in fact no. let's take a, take a look <laughs> at a little clip showing them yes, I knew you, he wants to make sure he loses the children again Ingrid tell him he's tracking them all wrong I have told you before, and I will tell you again, no backseat driving. When Gregorio is at the wheel, no one tells him what to do. <sighs> Junior. That's Antonio Montalban and Holland. Ricardo Montalban. Right, Ricardo, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm thinking yeah. of Banderas. I know, they're very, they, they have a similarity. And Holland, they do. Actually, yeah, no, they, kind of a sexy, yes. kind of a, a groove, right? Robert wanted it to be that I had married a Latin like my mother did. Ah, mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah. And But yet your mother, your mother's character, yes. isn't happy with your choice. Why could you, what, what would be the problem? Well, I mean, I know, right? Really. Uh, I think that they, they uh, that, you know, no one is good enough for their daughter. I think it's one of those things. A classic. Where, one. yeah. Where ultimately they, they will they will discover who he really is, and I'm determined to make that happen. And not to give too much away, in the last movie, the, basically the kids rescue the parents, right? And there's a bit of a reverse thing happening. Yes, this time. no, we can I think safely say that we go to rescue them this time, and uh, and you know Antonio's character Gregorio is sort of going through this feeling of maybe the kids don't need us, and I think Ingrid knows that of course the kids don't, but ultimately they do. You these know, these two sure kids that. who play these two characters are wonderfully talented. Yeah, they really are. They're really wonderful and they're great people and it's become, you know, where we know each other all so well now that they're more like peers than anything else. I mean, they're just very good professional actors who happen to be kids. Well, you're a good professional actor who <laughs> happens to be an adult. Thank you so much, Carla, Thank for joining so us much. this morning. And so